I remember thinking, yeah, I'd like to get involved in healthcare somehow, largely because I grew up idolizing my dad, who's a primary care doctor, and so I was exposed to the work that he did in a small rural community growing up. The field of study that I chose in college was human biology, and that's not a very well-known program, and, and not all universities have it, but it's multidisciplinary, and it involves a, a thesis project. So my project was testing drugs that were supposed to solve obesity, which didn't work, but also consider, well, what if we did have a drug that could cure obesity? What would that look like from a healthcare distribution standpoint? Who should pay for it? Who should be eligible for it? One summer I took a course to be certified as an EMT and during that I got to ride along with the rescue squad and see what it looks like to deliver healthcare on the front lines. I also got a job in the emergency department working as a medical scribe. And this was at a time when our institution had just gone live with its electronic health record and it was a total disaster. And so they trained some of us scribes to be super users, experts in knowing which buttons to press and how to find this information and where to look for that. I remember a surgeon trying to just figure out how do I order a knee x-ray on this patient and he couldn't figure out how to do it. It frustrated him to no end and that was really eye-opening to me because it's like, wow, these systems are everywhere now, they're ubiquitous. People get really frustrated by them there's got to be a better way. And before I knew it, planted the seed that I'd pursue informatics also. During medical school, I found a mentor who was trying to optimize um, some documentation templates in the neonatal intensive care unit. And so that project exposed me to, well, what would it take to redesign these software programs, going to see where the work is done, engaging the people who use these systems and trying to figure out what is it that they need to do their job and how can we translate that into suggestions for better design or better training. And that's when the light bulb went off for me. That's when I thought, ah, yeah, I kind of like this stuff. This is uh, really interesting. There's a lot of challenges here. This is something I want to look into more. Towards the end of my intern year in internal medicine, I connected with the NLM program in informatics at University of North Carolina. And so they offered me the opportunity to come spend a year as a postdoc um, doing research, taking courses towards a master's in informatics. I knew that I wanted to understand how database systems work and how are they structured because so much of electronic health record data exists behind the scenes in database format. I did the one-year informatics fellowship at UNC and earned a master's degree in informatics. And after that, returned to residency in preventive medicine. But I think there are so many opportunities to apply what people in informatics are really good at, which is understanding health data. My dad really sort of appreciated this area because he's in the trenches seeing patients every day, working with an electronic health record system that frustrated him. He said, wow, this is an opportunity. And so we'll laughingly have this conversation. He'll say, hey, have you figured out this yet? You got this solved? I'm going to retire soon. I need you to go ahead and hurry up. As informatics, people with informatics training continue to embed themselves in multidisciplinary frameworks, informatics will improve the way that we deliver healthcare for the better. <laughs>